has extended the interim relief granted to companies like Pfizer and to other pharma firms. Ashmit joins us now with the details. Ashmit, these companies have won round one, but it's going to be a long road to victory for them. Indeed, round one belongs to the pharma companies, at least three of them, ones who have managed to secure relief from the Delhi High Court. And now they have questioned uh, various, uh, the conduct of the government, especially as far as this notification is concerned. The argument that the pharma companies are putting forth is that the drugs in question have been in the market for longer than two decades, that in fact they have complied with all safety standards, and that despite the products being in the market for such a long period, there have uh, been no show cause notices that have been served. No reasonable opportunity for explanation was given to the pharma companies, that's their claim. Uh, is that the, the pharma companies were not allowed an opportunity uh, to express, to dwell upon the government as to their compliance with safety norms and that devoid of such opportunity, this is a case of violation of national justice and that they've not been allowed fair justice. And that was the contention that, in fact, uh, struck a chord with the Delhi High Court. The High Court, too, questioned the government on their conduct. The government, however, has been explaining that they are legally sound in terms of uh, the tenability of their actions, tenability of the notification, that they're not required to serve a notification or uh, serve a notice in the first place. But nonetheless, uh, the Delhi High Court has uh, given it off uh, the first round to the pharma companies. Relief, interim relief coming in for uh, Pfizer yesterday and today it belongs to ABOT as well as uh, McLeod's. But of course, it's important to point out that the stay on the notification is operational one only to the next date of hearing, which is March 21st. And secondly, this relief operates only and only for the three pharma companies in question, Pfizer, Abbott, as well as McLeod's. It is not a wholesale, a broad-based relief coming in for the entire pharma space. So clearly, more pharma companies likely expected to approach the Delhi High Court in coming days. Well, thanks, Arashmith, for joining us. With that, in fact, the pharma stocks were under immense pressure today. For example, Pfizer was down 3%. P&G was also down 3% in trade today. Moving on, the run